The Ohio State Buckeyes this morning are holding on to their number one ranking. They crushed Rutgers Saturday, 49 to 7. The blowout marked head coach Urban Meyer's 150th career victory. He and his team are on a 21 game winning streak. They captured the 2014 <laughs> national championship. In the last decade, Meyer brought home three college titles. He is one of only two coaches to win at different schools. His other trumps came at Florida. Meyer's new book is called Above the Line Lessons in Leadership and Life from a championship season. Welcome, Coach. Great to have you yeah, here. Yeah, great it's to have you, Coach. to be here. Thank so, you. so what is it about you? I mean, when you look at those 150 victories uh, and what you brought to each college, how is it that the coach makes such a difference? Well, that's very humbling to say that, but it's, I've, I've had great players, and that's yeah. really what that book is. It's a tribute to an incredible group of young guys that, that came together, and it was really illogical to go win it all. And mm. uh, so just uh, I've had tremendous players, and and uh, great coaches along the ride. I'm trying to remember, were you favored last year or was? Three underdog. The That's last three games were underdog all thought. three games. You know, you say players, but in the book you even say discipline over recruitment. And so that has a lot to do with the coach, doesn't it? I think so. I think it's uh, one of the great things that I've found in my journey is I took a year off of coaching and I went and studied some of the great leaders and great coaches. And it's the alignment of the program all the way through top to bottom. And mm -hmm. I'd have to say right now, this is the best group of as good a group of people that I've ever been around, not just the players, but the coaches, support staff, and, and that's, I think, why we're doing what we're doing right now. Explain what that means, above the line. Well, every day in, in life, there's a line. You either live above it or below it. Above the line is with purpose, it's intentional, it's taught. Below the line is impulsive autopilot, whether it's how you handle your relationships, you go to work every day, or as a college athlete, you better be very disciplined about living your life and doing the right things. You're, you're under the microscope. And you're and above the line behaviors, I'm going to go work, I'm going to train, and, and it's not easy. And uh, we lost, we lost, we're on a third string quarterback a year ago. We lost yeah. our two starters, and a kid named Cardell Jones came in, mm -hmm. and, and that was the greatest example I've ever witnessed of a kid that was above the line, always staying focused, engaged. It was his turn, and he performed. Mm -hmm. But you took a year off to study leadership. I took a year off for a lot of reasons. Right. I had some health issues in Florida, then I stepped away for a year, and I thought it was going to be longer than a year. And then, uh, I did a lot of studying and a lot of self-reflection and, and, uh, and went back and coached Ohio State. And the most important thing you learned was? Oh, uh, well, I, I dealt with a little work-life balance issue as well, yes. but <laughs> professionally, professionally about the alignment of the program, and that's what I learned uh, that year off. Where did you go to learn about leadership? Well, I studied. I went out and I worked for ESPN for a year, and I went and studied Bob Stoops, Mac Brown, Chip Kelly, uh, uh, Brian Kelly at Notre Dame, and then a lot, uh, you know, Steve Jobs. I'm a big fan of his. Obviously, mm -hmm. I didn't get to know him, but I studied his leadership style, Jamie Dimon, and, and I, I, I'm one of those people that I just can't get enough. And, and so you write about in, in the book, too, creating a culture. Right. How do you create a culture with a football team? Well, it's like anything in life. Is, uh, the older I get, and I guess the... The thing that you need to do, and, and this is what's so intriguing about this book, I have a leadership consultant, his name is Tim Kite, and he, we believe identically the same philosophy about creating a culture. The thing that we've done at Ohio State is crystal clear. It's, uh, you know, our culture is so clear that if you don't, if you don't follow it, it's insubordination. What is it? Well, the first thing is we call it uh, uh, competitive excellence, power of the unit, and competitive excellence is when your number is called, you're always gonna be ready. Uh, power of the unit is small unit cohesion, so we have nine units within the program. Each unit is responsible for the guy, and um, that, that's the, the culture that we try to create, and it's the best I've ever been around as far as the alignment of the nine guys teaching the same culture that I'm trying to create at Ohio State. Let's talk about football and injuries. We've had reports on this program and other programs about high school kids dying yeah. of football injuries. I just heard that. You know, I'm in a unique situation where my son plays high school football and yeah. Shelly and I my wife uh, we've had this conversation and when she first said you know do we really want him to play I almost fell out of my chair and I thought what do we my whole life has been football I get it though I understand it and it's serious it's the safest the game's ever been as far as the the rules the equipment uh, the way we handle our business in our state but that was a so, so but is it, home. is it safe enough that's a question that I can't answer, obviously. And we made a decision to let my son play high school football, so we, we believe it is. I think any, anywhere in life you're going to deal with potential issues. But has the game changed? I mean, they're talking about the different way the players are hitting each other. Is there more attention focused on this? What, what is it? What's, what's happening? 
Well, the, the positive part, we've taken a head completely out of the game of football. Yeah. And if you watch it closely, the penalties, the, the way we teach tackling at Ohio State really much, it's, it's permeating through the whole country. It's as safe as it's ever been. And there's going to be accidents, and I was, really wasn't aware of what happened recently. Mm -hmm. uh, but this hit home. When, when my son made the decision to play high school football, we had to sit, sit down like this, and we said, mm -hmm. what do we think? And, and the, the, my daughters played volleyball. My one daughter experienced a concussion playing volleyball at the uh, Florida Gulf Coast against Penn State. They had had, she had a concussion. Mm -hmm. and. And, and uh, I think continue, the game's going to continue to change in a positive way. Coach Urban Meyer, thank you so much. Well, yeah. Great to be great here. Great to have you. Up of the Line goes on sale tomorrow.